How you doing guys? James Every Boxing Ghost is here back with another video and in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for tomorrow's big super fight January 12th which is Jose Uzcategui versus Caleb Sweethands Plant great fight in my opinion and well I can't wait for this fight you know to be honest if you're a boxing fan and you're not no casual fan you should know about this fight Uzcategui versus Plant so here we go, I'm going to give you my breakdown and prediction and this is a very close fight, you know I've been going back and forth on my prediction on this on this uh, sort of fight so let me break it down so let's start off with Jose Uzcategui Uzcategui, a great champion, you know uh, very underrated skills very good boxer as well um, very smart with his aggression so to say I like his style you know he's the sort of guy that a lot of people write off but on the occasion he can put on a really good boxing display and he could he could potentially ruin everything he's a bogus sort of fighter in my opinion he has his days in his last fight he wasn't particularly impressive but he got the job job done against Moderna um was Kateki notably fighting the better competition out of uh, Caleb Plant and Uskategi. So um, he's faced the likes of Andre Terrell. He's faced him twice. Not only that, he's faced Matt Korobov. Matt Korobov notably giving Jamal Tarlo Charlo a tough test in this recent fight. Sorry. So, um, yeah, he did lose that fight, Uskategi. Uskategi does rely a lot on his power, you know. Um... You know, he's got very good hand selection of uh, punches, you know, left hooks, the right hook as well, the right hook over the top. He's got a nice left and right hook to the body as well, you know, and it's uh, and it's very unpredictable, so to say, you know what I mean? Um, he's very smart with his aggression as well, you know what I mean? So, um, a fighter like Jose Uskategi isn't going to lie down, and this is a big fight for him, you know. If he beats uh, Caleb Plant, you know, he could potentially get a huge shot against Gilberto Ramirez, I believe. You know what I mean? Because this, this this division, the 168 division, isn't really that sort of, um, what, is it, what should I say, competitive, you know? There's only a few, a few good fighters that are there and, you know, they're not really that great as well. Like, to be honest, like, I don't think James DeGaulle is any good anymore he's not really up there anymore do you know what i mean uh so there's gilberto ramirez ramirez um callum smith uh uska teggy um Tyrell's not on that level anymore so you can't put him up there with them with with the best of them at 168 so there's not many champions there at 168 that are really really you know doing over exceeding in my expectations to be honest you know what i mean so uskatek is a good fighter which brings a lot of aggression you know and if he can keep that aggression for the whole 12 rounds he may he may just take chaleb plant out of there you know um because chaleb plant let's break down chaleb plants there's plant sort of advantages going into this fight i i believe he's got He's got more of the advantages, I believe, you know. He's naturally a better boxer. Good technique he's got. He's, he's very natural with it, you know what I mean? Um, very patient as well. I like, I like the fact that he's very patient, you know. Against Medina, which was his last fight, he showed a lot of maturity and, and sort of patience in that fight, you know. Uh, Medina's a sort of a guy that's got... A lot of experience as well. He's faced the likes of um, Andre Terrell, uh, also Oscar Tegi. Not only that, um, Medina has got a lot of experience, and the way Talib Plant sort of um, neutralized Medina's attack was impressive. You know, um, using that lateral movement to stay off the ropes, um, that swift jab, that jab was really bothering Medina all night long and I've got to say you know Chile Plant has got the better jab in my opinion 
when it comes to who boxes better and who has the natural sort of jab, you know. Um, it's a crazy fight, you know. It's very hard for me to pick a winner as well, but I'm gonna have to pick a winner. But you know, Chela Plant, he's got good jab. He's got a good jab. Uh, starts early, starts from the first round onwards, you know. Um, with Katek, he could pe possibly lose rounds, you know what I mean? But I can see his applied pressure, non-stop applied pressure, that may that may sort of dishearten Chile Plant, you know. Um, I believe Chile Plant doesn't have enough power as well to discourage um, with Katek, you know what I mean? But... He's the better boxer, you know. Um, he likes to hit and not get hit, you know. And in that Medina fight, I I saw that, you know. And I liked the way he was, um, you know, neutralizing Medina, as I mentioned. So, you know, it's a really tough fight for me to predict, guys. You know, I could see like two scenarios basically. The first scenario I can see is where Chelle Plant sort of starts off well, you know, um, uses his jab. You know, um, getting off his power punches, also trading with Uskategi when it when it suits him, basically. But I can see him maintaining a good jab, and uh, you know, later on during the fight, because of all the aggression that Uskategi is putting on uh, Plant, I could see Plant getting hurt and maybe stopped later on during the fight. You know what I mean? But we have to see what Plant shows us, you know. Plant stepping up in this fight, in my opinion. He ain't fought, he ain't fought no one on the caliber of uh, Jose Uskategi, you know. So I'm not really underestimating Uskategi, man. But we haven't seen what Plant can do when he rises up in competition. So it's a really difficult difficult prediction to make you know um so as i mentioned that's the first sort of outcome i can see where uskateki's pressure finally gets somewhere during the fight you know um if he can apply that pressure i believe he can hurt uskateki because he's got a lot of power you know and if he discouraged and andre Durrell, then definitely i can see a scenario where he is Applying smart aggression eventually takes a toll of on Callum Plant. You know what I mean? Um, and I can see him stopping Caleb Plant late. You know, and that's the only way I see Busketeki winning. If it goes to the judges, if it goes to the scorecards, I believe Caleb Plant will win. And I say that because Caleb Plant's the better boxer here, man. Um, not in terms of aggression, but in terms of jab, fundamentals, boxing technique, footwork, you know, um, I believe Caleb Plant's got that, you know, he's naturally gifted with his footwork, and I believe he's got a lot of skills, man, um, this is a tough fight to predict in my opinion, you know, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on it or anything if I was you, you know, um, it's a tough fight to predict, you know, but there's two scenarios that will happen, as I mentioned. I could see Caleb Plant winning a close competitive decision. Or I could see Jose Uskategi's power and aggression being too much for Caleb Plant. You know, Caleb Plant, in order for him to win, he needs to stay off the ropes. He needs to stay off them ropes. It's must. It's a must. You must stay off them ropes because if Uskategi gets you on the ropes, Best be assured that Uzgateki is gonna go for it, you know. Uzgateki is gonna go for that knockout. He's a very exciting fighter, you know, very underrated as well, you know. Um, you know, when uh, boxers telegraph their punches, you can't tell where Uzgateki is gonna throw his next shot, you know, and that's what makes him so exciting. So, you know, leave your comments in the comment section below, guys. So, in my final prediction, guys. I'm going to say, boy, oh my god, I, I, can't, I can't even, 
I can't even say to be honest but what my gut's telling me I'm, I'm saying Caleb Plant wins by unanimous by unanimous decision man but at the same time I can see a scenario in my head where I can see Jose Uzcategui knocking him out late you know um, with that smart aggression you know and if Uzcategui goes to Caleb Plant's body early you know he needs to put that in his game plan because if I was his trainer I'd tell him to go for that body early so he can take out Caleb Plant late during the fight you know um, if he starts with that mentality if he generally starts attacking uh, Plant to the body Uskateki attacks Plant to the body early you know he will slow down Caleb Plant you know if he can do that then he's got a great chance but it all comes down to the first six rounds I believe you know then we will know who will who will make the right adjustments and you know win this fight you know I think Caleb Plant's going to win a lot of rounds as well so if it goes to the judges Caleb Plant I believe will win but if Uskategi starts off well and he uses smart aggression you know because because you know what Caleb Plant isn't a stationary target you know so I need. I, I want Caleb Plant to use them tactics as well. Don't don't stay on the ropes too much. Use the lateral movement to get out of the way. Use the clinches, you know, because we know Uzkateki is gonna come forward, and he's gonna try and hurt uh, Caleb Plant because of the power. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, Uzkateki is gonna use that power to his advantage. But you know what? I can also see a scenario where Uzkateki will win. You know what I mean? So. It's very close, guys, man. Um, all right, in my final prediction, I'm gonna say Talib Plant by unanimous decision, by points. I'm not. I'm not confident. I'm really not confident on this pick, man. Um, Uzgateki, it won't surprise me if he knocks out Talib Plant. You know, um, as I mentioned, Talib Plant hasn't got the experience, but I'm, I'm purely pa basing this because of it's a fifty-fifty fight, but I'm purely basing my prediction on on who the better boxer is because it's so close where I can see the styles gelling gelling together so well it's going to make it a tough fight to score as well you know um so yeah guys leave your comments in the comments below you know uh what do you think guys do you agree with my opinion you know um who do you think wins this fight? It's a true 50-50 fight. It's not one of them fights that are easy to predict, man. So, um, I see a lot of other channels as well. They're also split on this fight as well. It's a true 50-50 fight, like I mentioned. But I'm going with Plant by points. I'm not confident, though. So, it won't surprise me if Jose Uzcategui, you know, knocks Chele Plant out, you know. As I mentioned, the experience factor goes to Jose Uzcategui, you know. So what do you think, guys? Leave your comments in the comments comment section below. Obviously, like and subscribe to the channel, you know, if you like my predictions. You know what I mean? Um, Till the next video, it's Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage, and I'm out.